<laughs> they know he's dying to answer. <laughs> 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 They, they, uh, they got me on the baseball. I, I wilted on him on the baseball. I, I admitted this is wrong, but not very good. It's good in the series. I've been a St. Louis Cardinal fan all my life. Never been to a baseball game in St. Louis. But this year, you can't watch the series. <laughs> they're, 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 just, they're doing great. Jeez. Mulroney, do you think that the president is emphasizing arms control enough? <laughs> we have a small wager on this, Andrea. <laughs> Please share with us. We were talking baseball. Yeah. Small wager on arms control? No, we're, talking, we're just talking baseball about uh, how sad it is that Toronto got eliminated. It's important international repercussions there. Did the president say that? You can get in trouble in Missouri, Mr. No, I said it. What about arms control, Mr. Mulroney? Is the president emphasizing it enough? Thank you. Oh, right, Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, did you meet with Mr. Murphy just now? Thank you. Any news on the Middle East, sir? Thank you. Got to go out. answers. Thank you. One way. And they came to a point in 1935. The only way, mathematical chance they had to win the penalty was to win the last 21 games of the season without winners. And the final series was with St. Louis, which was the team they had to beat. And they beat four straight games in that home series. And it's, it's in Ripley's, believe it or not, it's never been equal this record in 21 straight games. But to show you how the emotions when the team gets up there, what, how that must have built up with it. They then went into the series against Detroit and lost four straight. <laughs> that must have been a gas house game. Yeah. When was that? It was back in 1935. Yeah, no, that was a gas house. That was a Pepper Dean. Martin, Leo DeRocher, yeah, Frank Frisch, yeah, Frisch Dizzy yeah. Dean. <laughs> they were unbeatable. That's why you were attracted to them. You know they got so superstitious about that. They, were, they really earned the title of the gas house game. They would not have their uniforms launched. <laughs> and, uh, no, they, they thought that to do yeah. that would uh, break their, their string. So they pretty soon they were the most slovenly looking gang do it for a good thing. It was a shorter season. They, they were in Brooklyn when the Dodgers were there. Yeah. 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 One night, around midnight, they got thrown out of the hotel because down in the lobby they pushed the furniture back and started a baseball game in the lobby of the hotel. Pretty the touching. Major, major League team kicked out on the street midnight and they got a game with that. <laughs> For being rowdy in Brooklyn. <laughs> Never happened in Montreal. No, that's right. Well, they had a routine, didn't they, of uh, warm up and throwing the ball around like the Harlem Globetrotters yeah. in basketball. Everybody, I used to like to go and watch them. And infield practice and stuff like that because they slam around. Dizzy and Daffy Dean, the brothers, the two pitchers, they call it the rule that still exists in baseball of not, not having any contact with the people in the fans in the stands. Because what they would do is before the game during the warm-up, they would go up and take a tray, trays away from a couple of the hawkers and hot dogs, and they go through the stands selling hot dogs. It wasn't Dizzy, wasn't Dizzy, Dizzy the one who went into broadcast and said, slut in the third. <laughs> <laughs> Just slut right in, <laughs> in the third. Thank you. Yeah. 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 He got thrown out. Yeah. He slut in and got thrown out.